Peace family, welcome back to another video with Credit Healing LLC. Today we want to talk about a subject that's going to help improve your credit score. So we want to give you five things that you should stop doing that are negatively impacting your credit scores. So we're going to go through the list uh, with you all because we know that you should know these things. And if you don't know it, um, we're going to assist you in these particular areas. Now, point number one, late payments. So you should not have even one late payment on your credit report. The reason why is because one late payment can bring down your credit scores anywhere between 100 to 200 points, just one. Now, the higher your scores are, say for instance, if you are um, closer to the 800, like myself, you know, we're actually above 800, closer to 850. Um, but if, say for instance, hypothetically speaking, if I were to have a uh, one late payment on my credit report, it'll bring me down to around 500. So that's close to 300 points. That just one late payment um, can bring down my credit score, so I don't want that to happen. Point number two, um, that's using too much credit. Now, I understand during the time that we may, you know, be trying to buy things or even if it's closer to um, the holidays, where you want to, the whole thing is spend, 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 spend. Well, you don't want to get into that habit because your debt to credit ratio is very important. So if you go above 50%, in terms of your debt to credit ratio, what's going to happen is that your score is going to drop tremendously. Preferably, you should be below 30%. But if you go below 30%, I mean, you have to make sure to pay your bills on time, um, pay at least the minimum. But the best thing for you to do is to get, get it down to 0% if you're actually utilizing that particular credit card because you'll be able to save money um, by not having to utilize and basically uh, be forced to pay the interest. So you don't want that to actually happen. Point number three, that's applying for more credit. Now, you may ask, well, am I, how do I not build my credit if I can't apply for more credit? Um, well, that's a good question. So you build your credit, but you do it in increments. You don't go and say, for instance, you don't go in one month and apply for 10 different credit cards. What's gonna happen is that that's gonna place 10 card increase on your credit report. Each inquiry take off about three to five points from your credit scores. And therefore, what's going to happen is that your score is going to drop a lot. And that's going to also put you in high risk because a lot of lenders, when you go to apply for other, um, you know, other credit cards and other loans, they're going to look at you as being high risk, being that they're going to think that you are desperate for credit. So if they see a lot of hard increase on in your credit report, what's going to happen is that that's going to, um, that's going to basically make you impact your score. You don't want to do that point number four canceling your zero dollar credit cards now the reason that we say this is because what builds credit and what strengthens credit is having a good mixture of credit cards so this particular good mixture of credit cards what that's going to do is that it's going to it's going to actually improve your credit scores because when you have say instance a mortgage a car loan a credit card what's going to happen is that it's going to build your credit your FICO score, FICO 2 and FICO 8, and when it when this happens, this actually improves your credit rating because they say, well, the person has a strong credit, therefore, this person is responsible and they're able to utilize the credit responsibly, pay it back, and thus we'll be more willing to work with this person as opposed to somebody who don't have, uh, you know, a strong credit rating. So you don't want to close um, a zero balance because a zero dollar credit card because it's going to reduce the amount of open accounts that you have on your credit report. So you don't want that to happen. You want to keep it open, keep utilizing it, keep the age um, basically increasing. And when you do that, what's going to happen is that your score is going to increase over time. So do not close any of your credit cards. Um, we don't recommend you doing that, especially if they're positive. Last but not least, number five, ignoring your credit report. So when you just ignore something, say for instance, if you have a lawn, right? And this particular lawn, um, you know, you just don't pay attention to it. I um, mean, lawn, I'm referring to your yard. You don't pay attention to it, you ignore it. By you ignoring it, you don't know what's on it. By you not knowing what's on it, then what's gonna happen is that you're, you, you're not gonna know what's gonna be placed on your credit report and you know, you may ignore it for a year and then you may look at it and say, well, I wanna buy a house and then next thing you know, you see all these derogatory items but you don't even know what's on your credit report. So you have to always pay attention to what's on your credit report and always monitor it. And we're gonna also provide the link below. 
so you can uh, basically monitor your credit uh, using one of our trusted services. So we want to be able to offer you that information. I hope that you have enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us at credithealing at gmail.com or call us at 225-733-6429. And you can also, uh, if you're ready to get started, go to www.credithealing.org. Peace.